Hello everyone, I'm Heba Hassan from GFX Academy and today we will finish talking about light in Arnold. Last time we've talked about sky doom light inside Arnold. We know about uh, how to use a header image or HDRI image, a high range image, in order to light our scene. How to use it in order to give us uh, a quality, a high quality for our shadows, for our details inside this scene. But it doesn't accept any atmosphere that we add inside the scene because the 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 light itself just depends on a shader or just a photo that you are taking here in order to lighten the scene. Today we will talk about the physical sky inside Arnold. How to add a shader but at the same time we can change that shader in, in order to give us the effect of the atmosphere. How to be affected by the fog? How to be affected by any uh, position of the sun or anything else? And at the same time we, the scene inside the uh, inside Maya here be affected by that. So let's understand that more here. First of all, I don't have any lights here in, in my scene. As you see, I just uh, hide every light that I have. And now let's uh, add the sky shader. Just go to your render setting here. Arnold render environment and then to the background from the background you can create a physical sky shader close that with the physical sky shader let's just play this as we know here as we see we just have a very tiny effect to the scene I don't have any effect of the light to the scene I don't see anything here just a very tiny details but I also I need to see this shader inside my uh, perspective here so to do this I can go to Arnold lights sky doom light but this time as you see as soon as I just entered the sky doom light I've just seen a color of white to the scene and that's not what I want I just need to see the physical sky I've entered before to do this go to your shader and just search for the physical sky you have here a physical sky shader middle click and drag it to the color of the tomb light and then close this see now we have a difference now we have both of them together we have the same sky doom light that we know before but with the shader of sky physical light to understand more let's go to physical sky and know why this is different from any other header we have here different options let's know them one by one these options here just affect the atmosphere of my scene let's start with turbidity turbidity here means clarity of the scene so let's test this here by just um, taking a snapshot of that scene with the three amount okay and let's make this value about 10 to see the difference but I will not see the difference uh, clearly here in my object only but I can see it in the sky but let's start with the model first if we see the difference here for example at that part at that area with the three the value of three is a list um, dusty than with 10 as you see here with 10 value it's more dusty than with 3 see the difference here also 
we can see here a lot of fog, a lot of dust in the air, but here it's more clear than this. See the difference? Now you need to see the sky itself. Let's rotate here our scene. Go down. Let's rotate it more. See, yeah, voila! Now we are seeing something. That's the sky that we are talking about. Let's zoom, zoom more, and just come here. Yes, just like that. Nice. Let's take this away a little bit, just to focus on the sky itself. If we see here the sky itself with a value of 10, let's take a, sh a screenshot here, full of dust, full of fog, but with one, wow, clear. Now it's very clear, it's very blue here. So if you see the difference between 10 and 1, huge difference. The beautiful thing here is not only the sky, but also the model or also the scene itself. So every tiny detail that we add or do with the shader will be affected by the scene itself. So the scene will be affected by anything we do here will affect both. See? Okay, let's go back to three and let's to go to the second option. Ground albedo. Ground albedo here gives you the color that starts your sky shader here. So this shader starts with this color that we give here. To understand more, if we go here and just go change the color for example to red. Oh wow, see? Now it has uh, a red tone to all the sky. It gives you some um, denial of this uh, of the of the day. Okay, so it gives you the red tint that affects every detail of my sky and also affect my scene here. Let's go back to gray. See elevation and azooms here are affecting the position of the sun. If you notice, we have here a shadow in this area. So, just take another snapshot here to see this and let's just delete this and just come here. Okay, so we are seeing the shadow of this area here so we know where is the sun. Let's change the elevation to about 90 oh my god now I'm seeing something different the light is there here it's up it's not anymore to this area so I don't see any shadows or the previous shadows that I saw before so this is a very different between this one and that one here I, I do have some light, I do have a, sh uh, a sunlight here, but at that time the sun is not no more here. We change the place to some place else. Nice. Let's go back to 45. Okay. And now change the assium to be uh, about let's go back like this for example or maybe 10 I don't see anything here yes see now I'm changing the sun from this area around around to be that as I said you can think of elevation as I'm changing the sun up and down, up and down. But here you can think of the sun changing around my scene. So you can put it here or here or there as you like. To understand it more, you can create something reflective, reflective 
and just see the sun in, in front of you a uh, front of uh, reflective material such as mirror to see where exactly is your sun cool if you want to add more lights to your scene you can use the doom light or the sky doom light intensity here or you can use the intensity here if we add here this one make it about two for example gives me nice light here as you see and we can save it and we go back to one go to sky doom light and let's make it about two also wow see the difference here so that's why i prefer really to use the physical sky intensity because the physical sky intensity will not affect on your model or your scene but will affect also to the sky on the sky so here it only gives the light to your models and that's okay but it has no effect to the shadow but using the physical sky wow it lights the shader of the sky and the shader or the light of your scene also so it will affect everything so when you are using the physical sky it would be better really to use the intensity to lighten your scene as you like you can also add a tint to your scene or your sky for example I can add a blue tint if I want like this see affects everything and that's really nice or maybe an orange because of the color of my model so let's make it a little bit orange oh wow it's really cool I like it very much You can use also the sun size here. Sun size just to make the shadow more further. As you see here, it's really began to have a blur very much. And of course, we do have more uh, samples to uh, to remove every noise that you have. If you have a large noise then just go here to your sky doom light and go to your subdivisions and just make it higher to remove the noise as we see we are really making use of the sky doom light options besides with the sky physical options so you can use both of them here in order to have a very nice effect to your scene now we have uh, a quick preview to the physical sky and we finished talking about everything about light inside nuke uh, sorry inside arnold here area light sky dome light mesh light photometric light and every other light inside maya that deals with arnold now we finished talking about lights you can choose what light you want according to your scene and the most realistic shader Remote, uh, or light that gives to your scene here the physical sky and the doom sky shader sky light you can depend it in most of your cases here so uh, next time inshallah we will start to talk about shaders after we know everything about light and how to lighten your scene we will understand the why Arnold is talking where uh, is talking about TX shaders why it's not um, giving you the speed or the uh, nice speed with uh, any other images but with the TX images it's really high speed high quality and uh, really cool using this with Arnold and what is the meaning of TX images why tx images and how to uh, change my normal images inside uh, arnold into tx images we will know more about that next time inshallah
Thank you. Hope you like this video. Bye-bye.